Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, and welcome to INA's CCI Service Provider version 4 bootcamp. My name is Brian McGann, and I'm going to be your instructor for these sessions. Uh, I am a CCIE in uh, service provider, a uh, little bit uh, back, uh, back to 2006. Uh, but the, uh, you know, the technology scope that we were dealing with then, which is mainly routing and uh, MPLS, you guys will see that it's going to be uh, still uh, fairly similar to what we're going to be dealing with uh, today and throughout the class. So you guys can see my email address there, uh, my Twitter, my LinkedIn, so feel free to uh, get in touch with me uh, after class. Okay, so in the class, there's mainly going to be uh, two different goals that we have. First and foremost, of course, is going to be the technologies. So how do we configure this stuff? Or actually, but just take a step back from that. What is the technology? What problem is it trying to solve? Where specifically do we implement it? Why? Okay, then we'll talk about how do we specifically configure it. And then even more important, how do we verify that it's actually working? And if it's not working, what are the troubleshooting steps uh, that we go through? So a lot of this class is, is going to be based on uh, troubleshooting, either configurations that are uh, that you guys are doing. So if you're having trouble with, uh, with some problem, I'll bring up your, your command line and we'll do some live troubleshooting uh, throughout the class. There's also going to be a dedicated section of troubleshooting on Friday where we'll have a couple uh, unique uh, scenarios that are pre-built. And then just like the actual exam, you go in there, you, you have some tasks that says, hey, I can't ping from router one to router two. You need to, uh, to fix the problem. Okay, so beyond understanding the technologies, the other thing that we're going to focus on, and this is going to be towards the end of the class, is going to be a lab uh, strategy. So for those of you that have been to uh, any of the, uh, the CCI labs, whether it's service provider or, or routing and switching, whatever, you know that it's not only about understanding the technologies. A lot of it is, is kind of a mental game against the exam, you know, kind of not to panic and freak out when you get there and to, to have a plan in advance and then make sure that you follow through with that uh, when you get to the actual exam uh, day. So we'll talk about that, uh, like I mentioned, towards the end of the class in terms of uh, how do I order the sections, do I want to draw out a diagram, uh, you know, that type of stuff. Not really technical per se, but just kind of uh, organizational skills that will help you for the actual exam. Okay, so in terms of class prerequisites, like I mentioned, I'm assuming that everybody is, is towards the end or, uh, or the latter portion of your preparation. So I'm assuming at least everybody has a good understanding of layer two switching and uh, layer three IP routing. The vast majority of this class is going to focus on uh, routing and MPLS. So the exam is mainly, uh, the, the huge focus is going to be BGP plus MPLS for layer three VPNs, for layer two VPNs, and then of course all the infrastructure that goes uh, along with that, like the IGB routing underneath, the uh, layer two connectivity, and then the upper layer uh, applications like MPLS, uh, traffic engineering, QoS, multicast, and et, et cetera. We'll talk about uh, that as well. But as long as you guys have a, a good uh, a handle on routing, then you should be in pretty good shape uh, for this class. So uh, typically what I normally see in this course is that the weak points for people uh, would be ISIS routing, would be multicast, uh, QoS, uh, possibly IPv6, maybe some of the IPv6 transition uh, techniques like uh, 6VPE, for example, can be uh, kind of confusing. But again, the, the real main focus of the class and of the exam is going to be routing, so both interior gateway routing and exterior gateway routing, so IGB and BGP, and then uh, MPLS. So for additional information after the class, like if you want to see you know, all of the variations of OSPF with PE to CE routing, I would highly recommend to go back to the, the Service Provider Advanced Technologies class because that is modularized in, in terms of the individual topics, like just EHRP as PE to CE routing, just ISIS, uh, et cetera. So the scenarios that we're going to be working on uh, this week are not going to be compartmentalized in, in terms of the technologies, like the, the uh, advanced technology class goes over OSPF on its own, ISIS on its own. So in our case, what we're first going to be starting with is a uh, topology that's going to be uh, looking like this. Okay, so we have uh, 14 nodes in the topology, 
and it's going to be made up of the uh, the core service provider in the middle is going to be this uh, uh, these six nodes. So it's uh, three iOS XR boxes and three iOS XE boxes. And mainly, first we're going to focus on uh, routing. So OSPF, ISIS, BGP, and then MPLS layer two and layer three VPNs from an intra AS point of view. So within one autonomous system. Once we have a good handle on that, then we'll go to the inter AS. Uh, variations, uh, but the uh, point being here is that uh, we have these topologies that are already uh, uh, pre-built, essentially, that we're going to be uh, using. 